In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps educational infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here a pencil comes and this is completely made in PowerPoint. You can add your title here. And when I click, the first option comes. You can see here, this is the option one. I've just put some lungs info and some detailed text we can add it here or it's completely editable you can just add any text as per your requirement and i've added the shadow effect at the back and when i click with a different color combination the second option comes here i've provided the stomach info then here comes the the third one which is the heart and the fourth one comes the kidneys you can see here so this is completely editable slide you can change the request the text as per your request and i have provided two slides one with animation another without animation so depending on your requirement you can choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the rectangle, draw a rectangle with the center of the screen. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the height and length and then shape outline, make it no outline. And then I'm going to add a few more shapes. So go to insert shapes from the rectangle i'm going to select this one which is rectangle top corner rounded just draw it and you can see here two small orange points the top orange point drag this inside so it becomes fully curved shape outline make it no outline and rotate i'm going to rotate left 90 degrees and then just bring it here let me just zoom in you can see here i can just increase the size and then i can just fit this one and let me just give some different color all right and then i'm going to add one more shape go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid all right then shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some different color rotate you can see here rotate right 90 degrees let me just zoom in and i'm just going to put it here you can see here i can just reduce the size and then i can just make it more something like this all right so you can see here i've added three shapes one rectangle one rounded corner and the trapezoid i'm going to add one more shape here let me just zoom in select this press ctrl d to duplicate shape will make it black you can see here reduce the size and then just put it this corner you can see here so make sure that it is properly aligned all right so we have added the nib also and then it's time to give some different color options so i'm just going to select this one go to shape format you can choose any yellow or uh, different color for example i'm just going to choose this orange color or dark orange or light orange and here this one i'm just going to choose this uh, the tan color you can see here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give some gradient fill for this so select this right mouse click go to format shape under fill i'm going to select the gradient fill so first color i'm going to choose which is this color you can see here then this one again i'm going to choose the same color but what I'm going to do is I'm going to more colors and increase the, you can see here, the shading and click OK. And here again, I'm going to choose the normal color. All right. And then here I'm going to choose the darker color. So like this, it can come or what you can do is let me just expand this. You can see here, I'm just going to move. So I'm going to give a kind of a, you can see here a dark line effect and here also i'm going to select the same color the light color the dark color is here and again i'm going to choose the light color so you can see here i can just move the colors so something like this all right and for this what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose the same uh, i'm going to select the gradient color and the gradient color let me just delete all 
only keeping two and then one i'm going to select this one and let me just select this and here i'm going to choose the same thing but i can go and increase it you can see here so it is more darker let me just choose this one yeah so you can see here it is more darker at the bottom let me just show you still if you want you can make it more darker also so something like this all right so you can see here and this one you can choose again a gradient fill and here i'm going to select the radial and direction make it from center and first one i'm going to make it white and the other one i'm going to make it gray color all right sorry something like this you can see here so uh, this is the the pencil shape ready and if you want to some add some shadow effect also you can do it for that uh, let me just go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle make it more rounded shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency effect then go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here and then i'm just going to increase it you can see here and then just send this to back let me just reduce the size so you can see here uh, pencil design is ready now it's time to add more options to it now to add a different uh, color stripes what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring it outside and reduce the size you can see here maybe this one let me just increase it and here i'm going to give some different color combination so here these are the light colors and two colors are the darker colors so that the line can come so what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this go to more colors and you can just choose any color of your choice for example let me just select the light color here the pink you can see here it's kind of purple sorry not pink and then again i'm going to choose the same pink here and here also pink and then for this i'm going to choose the darker color here you can see here the darker pink or sorry the purple so you can see here the lines has come let me just zoom in now what i'm going to do is i can just put it here you can see here something like this and then i'm going to add two more this is one and this is two so this one now let me just put some different color combination maybe i can choose uh, this one the teal color you can see here and then for this i'm going to choose the darker color here you can see here and then for this i'm going to choose maybe some different color combination maybe a color combination of blue you can see here and for this let me just select the darker blue so you can see here i've added this one and then i'm just going to select these three press ctrl d to duplicate and bring the other side also here and you have to just make sure that it is properly aligned if not you need to align it manually okay and then so depending on your requirement you can choose some different color let me just choose some maybe a green color here again for this also i'm just going to choose the same green and here i'm going to choose the darker green here all right now let me just choose some other color here maybe i can choose this color orange
and for this I'm going to choose more darker color here all right so you can see here like this you can add different color combinations and again the last one I'm just going to choose maybe a red color combination a light orange I'm just selecting you can see here and then for this I'm going to choose more darker color that's it so you can see here our pencil with the stripes are ready now it's time to add more options to it so let me just reduce this size and then I'm just going to expand these areas okay so what I'm going to do is go to insert shapes or instead of doing that one I can just select simply this one you can see here and then I'm just going to make it a solid fill color and solid fill color using the eyedropper I can just simply choose this color all right and then go to format shape and you can just increase the height you can see here so depending on your requirement whether how much you need you can increase and exactly place it here okay and make sure that it is properly aligned to this all right then select this press ctrl d and using the eyedropper i'm going to choose this color and then let me just move it here all right and make sure that it is properly aligned okay so you need to spend a little bit of time here aligning it properly all right and then i'm just going to select both of this press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just going to attach it for this again let me just zoom in again i'm going to choose the color which i have used here you can see here and then this one i'm going to choose it the color orange all right you can see here so this is done and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and put it exactly in the center shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give the same color again here put it exactly in the center shape fill the same color control d you can see here and make sure that it is properly aligned and then this one I'm going to give this color and last I'm just going to duplicate this and then I'm just going to attach it here and make sure that it is aligned properly that is key otherwise the design will look something odd all right so then all right so what I can do is I can just select both of this press ctrl G to group it you can see here this also control G you can just hold the shift key and just group it control G all right and for this also you can give the shadow effect control D to duplicate you can shape fill make it black increase the transparency so it looks something like this otherwise in that case what you can do is you can just ungroup this and then select both of this go to format shape and union it all right so it becomes one shape and then you can increase the soft adjust all right so something like this and then i can just put it here send this to back Control d move this one here for this shadow effect send this to back again control d bring it here rotate and then i'm just going to put it here send this to back and then this also i'm just going to add it here and send this to back also all right so you can see here our basic design is ready now it's time to add some animation effects or some icons before animation add some icons go to insert 
if you're using the latest version you can get the icons so simply select the icons required for example i'm just going to go to the medical one and then the body parts you can see here and just insert it bring the other side make the height and width as 0.3 only and then one by one you can just add it you can see here all right so the body parts also added now it's time to add the option you can just say option zero one if you want you can use the same color also make it bold and then add the detailed text add detailed text here reduce the size maybe you can give some gray color then i'm going to select both of this press ctrl d to duplicate for this is for this option ctrl d this is for this again ctrl d this is for this then just change the color you can see here all right then this is option one this is two this is you can make it three and this one you can make it four all right so you can see here our design is ready and if you want to do some basic animation you can do the basic animation to it